And something we have been so excited about is our sit-down interview with this year's 2023 Banting Medal Award recipient, Dr. Matthias Chup, honored for his seminal discoveries of the first highly effective drugs for human obesity, the dual and triple agonist. Thanks so much for your time today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Well, I must start off with congratulations on Thanks this award. Much. How does it feel to be honored by your peers in this manner? Wonderful. Overwhelming. Well, it's certainly very well deserved. Let's talk about your research that's being honored. More than 20 years ago, you discovered the hunger hormone. What is that? Well, we discovered that a peptide from the stomach called ghrelin is a factor that goes into our blood circulation and talks to the brain and tells us when we're supposed to be hungry, when we're supposed to have the next meal. Now, back then, we were hoping we could block ghrelin and somehow with that treat obesity. But it turns out that just messing with one pathway wasn't enough. So we started to realize we need to do more. We need to understand more signaling pathways and sort of combine several of them to be successful in treating obesity. We always looked at obesity as a brain disease. And in the end, some of these dual and triple agonists actually uh, work in the brain and are pretty successful in uh, promoting satiety and blocking hunger and having weight come off. And to that point, your most recent discovery, which is transforming obesity and diabetes therapy and the way that we treat it, are these new classes of therapeutics. Can you elaborate on that a little bit more? So we, we teamed up uh, my lab with the lab of Richard DiMarchi, a chemist, and worked together as a team over the last two decades or so. And again, tried a lot of things. And specifically, gut hormones worked really well when you combined them. And uh, with that, not only blood glucose seems to be under better control, but it suddenly becomes possible to lose more than 20% of body weight. This may not be the last, but I think it's, it's a little bit of a breakthrough. It's very encouraging research, absolutely. Um, you've pioneered a new era of metabolic medicine. Do you see this type of treatment becoming the gold standard for when it comes to treating people with diabetes? A few years ago, all we had to offer for morbid obesity was bariatric surgery, like a gastric bypass. And now we're not quite there yet, but we're getting closer and closer to the same efficacy. I think there will be multiple developments now and there will be precision medicines in the future for every patient, something tailored, subpopulations that need this or that. There's a lot to do. And with that tailored medicine, hopefully uh, far less unsavory side effects. Well, that's always a goal. You have to have something that's called a therapeutic window. Uh, that's the place between having good effects and not having side effects. Finding the right thing maybe also for the right genetic makeup of each patient. That will be the future and that'll be the safest way to go. Well, speaking of the future, you've had quite a storied career. What's in your future? What's next? Once uh, obesity has been overcome and controlled, that doesn't mean you can get off the drugs. So we need w ways to find a maintenance uh, therapy. The other thing we're pursuing is uh, these dual and triple agonists. They, they may be giving us mechanisms and tools for the future how we can treat other diseases. Very hopeful. Well, congratulations on your award. Certainly well-deserved. And thank you for your time today. Thank you for having me.